Good afternoon and welcome to this week's episode of Hot TV. I'm your host, Marvin Stanbeck. I'm Shadera Montgomery. On this episode, we'll take a look at this year's Miss Southside pageant, learn more about a popular chicken sandwich, and visit with college admission counselors and more. Don't go anywhere because Hot TV starts now. You're watching the world's greatest show, Hot TV. will be available in the library this Friday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please stop by and complete your financial aid applications. Southside will host a blood drive on Monday, December the 2nd. You must be at least 17 years old and have a signed permission form, even if you have given before. After a long wait, we can finally see what took place at Miss Southside's pageant. On October 26, Southside hosted its annual Miss Southside pageants with 17 hopeful girls vying for the 2019 title. I caught up with a few contestants and even the new Miss Southside herself, Layla Cox, to gather their impressions on the pageant. I'm Kelly Torres here with Cameron Burkhead. And Cameron, why did you choose to participate in the Miss Southside pageant this year? Because I've never been in a pageant before and when I heard about it I thought it'd be fun. I'm Kelly Torres here with Tana Emerson. And Hannah, why did you choose to participate in the Miss Southside pageant this year? I chose to do the Miss Southside pageant because I've done it every year since sophomore year and it's really fun to get to dress up like a princess with all your friends. Most girls participated in the pageant because they have been in it in previous years. Meanwhile, this is the first time others have ever been in a pageant. In my entire life, I've been in about five. And what I like most about them is that the adrenaline rush when they're like, you know, calling who plays, who did it. And I like dresses, so formal dresses. You won't catch me in a regular dress on a regular day, so yeah. <laughs> was this pageant your first pageant? No, I've been doing pageants since I was in second grade at Melissa's. Some of the girls would like to change certain aspects of the pageant and even add new portions in the future. Is there anything that you would like to change about the pageant or make adjustments to? Well, I thought everything was great overall, except it was a rainy day and that can mess up the girls' hair and makeup, so maybe look at the weather beforehand. And is there anything you would like to change about the pageant? Yes, I wish there was a questionnaire part because I've always wanted to answer one of those little questions. At the end of the night, a new holder of the Miss Southside title was announced. 2019 Miss Southside is contestant number nine, Layla First, I didn't think I was gonna get it. Like they got to first made and I was like, oh crap, I'm just gonna head back to the dressing room because it was just, I didn't place last year. And so yeah, it was really unexpected. <laughs> Layla has some advice for anyone who would like to one day participate in Miss Southside or pageants in general. When it comes to a dress, pick what you like, not what everybody else likes because it's all about when you're walking across the stage, how confident you feel, stuff like that, so yeah. For Hawk TV, I'm Kelly Torres. Thank you, Kelly. Are you interested in Mary State University? If so, Harold Ingram has more information that might help you want to go there. I met with Abby Anderson to discuss Murray State's requirements. Hello, my name is Abby Anderson. Uh, I'm the lead admissions counselor at Murray State. Um, at Murray, uh, we do require that students have an 18 on the ACT. If you decide to take the SAT, um, then we need a 960, and then we need at least a 2.0 GPA. The closer you can get to 3.0, the better. She discussed activities on campus and more. So I went to Murray State um, for four years, from 2012 to 2016, and I loved it. It was so fun. Um, we are a D1 school, so sports are a huge part of our culture, so there's always a game uh, going out on throughout the year. Um, we have about 200 different clubs and organizations that students can get involved in, whether that be um, our academic organizations or things like Greek life. So there's always tons of events that student organizations are throwing. Um, we show movies in our Curry Center, which is our student center on campus. Um, so there's a ton of things to do throughout the year. Concerts, plays, all kinds of good stuff. For the seniors that's interested, she gave a little advice. My advice, um, stay on top of your deadlines. Don't let deadlines slip by. So for us, like scholarship deadline is February 3rd. 
Okay, we give you a ton of time. Do not wait till the last minute to fill out that scholarship application because it's going to just make you stressed. Being a racer is a very special thing. She explained. My favorite thing about being a racer was the community I found at Murray State. Um, I actually got to Murray State on accident. My friend made me come to a campus visit, um, and I ended up loving Murray State. Um, and that surprised me uh, because I'm from Memphis. And so I love being in a big city, and Murray's a small town. Um, but really, I felt as soon as I stepped on campus that people um, were really worried about me, really concerned, and wanted to make sure that I succeeded um, and I wasn't just a number. So I love our community and that it feels like home. Thank you, Avi, from the Hall family. We really appreciate your time and patience. And thanks so much, guys. Hopefully we'll see you on campus soon. After this commercial break, Marvin Stanback will give us more advice on the Popeye's chicken sandwich and why is it so popular. Ugh, I don't like it. Ugh, that's even worse. That's good. Right, make a clear choice. Welcome back. After waiting several months, the Popeye chicken sandwich is back. Hot TV reporter Shadera Montgomery has this report. I'm here with Mr. Hanemeyer. Mr. Hanemeyer, tell us about the chicken sandwich from Popeye's being released on a Sunday when Chick-fil-A is not open. I think doing this promotion is a great idea. It, what they're trying to do is they're trying to take a few customers away from Chick-fil-A. And uh, hopefully by doing this, they'll keep a few, right? I don't think they're going to lose any customers at Chick-fil-A because Chick-fil-A has a, a solid brand and a solid product but I think this is a great idea for them to take a few customers and then to do it on Sunday when Chick-fil-A is closed. I think it's going to work great. Thank you. I'm here with Kobe Ward. Kobe, tell us about the chicken sandwich. Hey, that joint was good. It was good. How long did you have to wait? Um, about 30 minutes. Was it worth the wait? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that joint was fine. Yeah. Would you like to give any advice to someone that hasn't tried it? Man, I'm gonna get you a Popeye chicken sandwich. That joint is good. Real deal, holy field. I'm here with Matthew Berry. Matthew Berry, tell us about the chicken sandwich. Uh, the chicken sandwich was good and a little bit overrated, though. Was it worth the wait? It was worth the wait because I only waited like two minutes. How did it taste? Uh, I got the spicy one, so it had a little kick to it, but it was good, though. Thank you. I'm here with Olivia Lacey. Olivia, tell us about the wait for the chicken sandwich. I had to wait a whole hour to get the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Was it worth the wait? Not really. I mean, it was okay, but it's just a chicken sandwich. Give us advice to those who haven't tried the chicken sandwich. Go early. Thank you. I'm here with Brandon Macklin. Brandon, tell us about the Popeye's sandwich. Uh, that John Fah, not going to cap to you. How long did you wait? Uh, probably like a good 15 minutes. Was it worth the wait? Most definitely. I ordered two of them things. Give us advice about the sandwich for some people that didn't try it. Uh, I always go spicy. Apparently, this Popeye sandwich is getting everybody's attention. Marvis, how you feel? Tired of working. This basketball season is here. Hot TV reporter Adrian Comer interviewed guard... Matthew Berry and has this report. Today we took a moment to talk to a Southside basketball senior, Matthew Berry. We asked him a few things about this season and what he plans on accomplishing. My expectations for this year are to win state, finish first in the district and region, and just become a better player. At the Jamboree, Matthew and his teammates had fun and learned what to expect this season. Um, the Jamboree, it was fun. It was just a, a nice look thing to do on the weekend. Uh, we realize that teams are practicing to beat us, so we need to always be ready, no matter who the opponent is. Matthew talks about how being a Hawk is a lot of pressure and takes a lot of commitment. Uh, to be a Hawk, it takes a lot of dedication and sacrifice. You gotta sacrifice a lot of your free time and be dedicated to work hard. Matthew gives a lot of helpful advice for the upcoming freshmen on the team this year. Uh, for the freshmen this year, you really got to pay attention to what all the uh, upperclassmen do so you can like, get, a, get a hold of things, like how they work and what to do and not to do, stuff like that. 
Are you the Southside's first home game is December 6th against Liberty. For Hawk TV, I'm Adrian Comer. Speaking of basketball, here's what the home schedule is going to look like. Liberty versus Southside, December the 6th. Southside versus Lexington, December the 10th. Southside versus Bolivar, December the 16th. Southside versus Scotts Hill, December 17th. Southside versus Haywood, December 20th. Southside versus Riverside, January 10th. Southside versus Chester County, January 24th. Southside versus Adamsville, January 31st. Southside versus McNary, February 7th. Southside versus Northside, February 11th. Also in sports, congratulations to Hawks football players, Timothy Douglas and Tyrell Turner. In other news, Hot 2 reporter Shadara Montgomery recently visited Lane College. Here's what she experienced. Local students in Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Youth Program visited Lane College on last Saturday. This was a chance for students to meet Dr. Logan Hampton and college students majoring in different fields. I spent time with students in media and communication department. These students were recording the band performance communicating with the coaches about the halftime, and talking on headsets and keeping control of drums. One of the students I met was Jay Allen. We talked about media and talked about applying for scholarships and being recruited to Lane. I had fun. It was a great experience to visit. For Hawk TV, I'm Shadara Montgomery. Well, that's all for this episode of Hawk TV. We'll see you here again next time. And remember, today is a great day to be a Hawk.